it's Ina the Mood Reader and welcome to my April 2021 Reading Plants video! So, just like that, another month is over and it's time to plan the books I'll be reading for April. And I know most of us have been like planning summer trips supposedly here in the side of the world, but it's another lockdown quarantine situation and that might mean no trips but it might also mean a lot of more time for reading so for this month i decided to challenge myself and do a little alliteration challenge because it's april i'll be reading only arcs for the month um if you've been following me for a while now you know i have like a load of arcs I have yet to read like some of them are from 2019 and I still haven't read them yet so for this month I'll be challenging myself to focus on that so to make the challenge easier and still enjoyable for me I've decided to divide it in four parts I have arcs for blog tours I'll be doing in the next few months I also have arcs for um, I'm currently reading for the film with readathon and i have some wednesday books arcs because i have like 12 if i'm not mistaken and other arcs still on my net galley shelf so i'll be talking to you about each one of them um to make my choices easier i did a spinner wheel um from will of names so that um i have someone else like an entity deciding for me because it's really hard for me like to just randomly pick up and decide on the titles that i'll read so for the first part i've decided to pick up three wednesday books titles from my stash book number one is slingshot by mercedes hainwin hainwin and it's a ya contemporary book um, according to the little sleuthing I did, it's a debut novel which talks about two people finding each other and then eventually screwing it all up. And the main reason why I like to read this book is the cover, of course. It's so beautiful. And according to its synopsis, um, these buzzwords like showed up. Um, soulmates, friendship, stupidity, first love, and first times, which sounds like an adorable summer read, so nice. The second book I'll be reading is a recent arc I got, like I got this yesterday if I'm not mistaken, and it's You've Reached Sam by Dustin Thao. It's one of my most anticipated 2021 books. I am so lucky that like Wednesday books suddenly made it available for everyone for 48 hours and of course your girl just had to grab it. <laughs> and luckily though this will be out in November which is still a few months away from now. I decided to, I mean, the wheel just decided to give it to me today. So this one I know would like make me cry. It's a young adult romance with magical realism elements. And it is pitched as If I Stay Meets Your Name. And um, If I Stay was like one of my favorite books and movies when I was still a teenager. So this is going to be interesting. It says in the synopsis, heartbroken after her boyfriend's death, Julie calls him to he hear his voicemail, but he picks up. And so they get like a second chance to say goodbye. So just those lines alone, like shows you already that this is going to be a tearjerker and I'm here for it. So... The third book is Trouble Girls by Julia Lynn Rubin. It's another great covers, like Wednesday Books really gives out these great covers. And it's a queer YA reimagining of Thelma and Louis. So you um, can expect like a fugitive aspect here. And 
It says that this book has the aesthetic of Riverdale and it's perfect for fans of Mindy McGuinness. And I really loved uh, Mindy McGuinness. <laughs> I really loved Mindy McGuinness's books. I've read, of course, Heroine, The Female of the Species. Um, what's the other one I read? I also read another one where she got stuck in the woods. I forgot the title, but yeah. And I know those are amazing. Plus, this book was also blurbed by Sophie Gonzalez, who wrote Only Mostly Devastated, which I loved. And she says that this book is a powerful, beautiful, a powerful, beautifully written gut punch. So, whoa. That sounds amazing. And I'm so excited to read Trouble Girl. Trouble. Trouble. Oh, Trouble Girls this April. Now, after that, I also, like, this, I didn't use the spinner wheel anymore because I'll be a part of a few blog tours this April. First, um, <laughs> the first blog tour I'll be joining is for Sugar and Spite by Gail D. Villanueva. This is also one of my most anticipated 2021 reads only because this is a Filipino author and the main characters for this middle grade book are called Jolina and Claudine. And if you're a Filipino, you know they're like the most famous like stars in the 90s. They were like the yeah, superstars I guess of their time. And this middle grade book is about Jolina being bullied by Claudine, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the question the book poses is that, can a bully be the, defeated by a magical love potion? So this is a middle grade contemporary book with fantasy elements. And yeah, I'm so excited to take part of this blog tour. So watch out for my review at inadamoodreader.com. And I'm also thinking, of course, to make a video of these books so we'll see next is the hate project by chris ripper i'm part of this blog tour for karina adores um under harlequin and this is the second book from the love study series so i also did uh, a review on the first book so why not grab grab the chance for the second one so it says here that oscar is a grouch jack is an ass so Look at that wordplay. And it says that they have to... I'm not sure if they have to live together or if they have to work together. And it's going to be chaos. And I'm not sure if they're actually enemies of... Or if they are just chaotic beings. But that excites me. And it's also... It also says in some reviews I've read that this book has mental health representation... And of course, it's a MM romance, and it says that we have a Latinx character and a fat rep or plus size representation in one of our main characters. So, yeah, I think my spot would be like on the last week of April, but yeah, I'll be reading this one as well. Um, the last blog tour I'll be part of it would be happening in May, but I decided to read this a little earlier because this is another anticipated read of mine for 2021, and it's this beautiful cover. Look at it. It's The Ones You're Meant to Find by Joanne Hay. So, I think it was last year where I, when I first saw the cover of this book, and I was like, no matter what it would, it would be about, I want to grab a copy of it. And even now that I have an advanced copy of it, I still want to get, like, the finished copy. I need to get my hands on this beautiful cover. And now I finally know a little about what it's about. Um, it says on the blurb that it's We Were Liars Meet Black Mirror. And We Were Liars is, like, this very famous book now, especially on Book Talk. It's a thriller. I've read it, like, eight years ago, so I can't remember what's it about anymore. But I love Black Mirror. And it says here that she awoke on an abandoned island with no idea how she was marooned. She has a single memory that she has a sister and that she needs to find her. So I think this is um, a young adult sci-fi. I'm not sure if it's dystopian. I'm just, I think it's sci-fi. And then it has a lot of trigger warnings. We have death, gore, and suicide, among others. So 
we you should approach with caution but if you're up for those triggers if you think you're mentally ready for it then i really suggest you buy this book or pre-order it it's coming out very soon so yeah i'll be reading that one as well now for the next um part where i also use my spinner wheel i have i think about a hundred um i have about a hundred arcs on my net galley shelf i typed in some for this um spinner wheel plus the other wednesday books i have to like maybe play around with it a little and i decided for this one to go with five books i'm not sure if i'll be able to read all of them but it's still exciting for me to have all of these options um so that my mood reading brain would like have options <laughs> Yeah, so the first book I was able to pick was In Case You Forgot by Friedrich Smith and Chaz Lamar Cruz. And this one is a queer um, black book. Um, it says in one of the reviews I peeked in that this book was marketed as a romance, but it is not. So I, I'm telling you guys as well if you're interested about it. Um, it does... It, uh, it just says that it's about two single black queer men who packed up their lives to move to and start again in Los Angeles. So it's a fiction book. I don't know yet what it's going to be about. And that was, that is what's exciting about it. So let's just approach it blindly. The second book I'll be reading based on our spinner wheel is The Grey Sisters by Joe Tregiari. It's a young adult thriller from Penguin Teen. It's like the second book. It's like the second oldest book in my net galley shelf. So I really should be reading this. Um, it says on the synopsis that two years after a deadly plane crash, best friends D and Spider head into the mountains to face their grief. So they're going to come back onto the um, plane crash site and I think they will meet somebody there and their lives would like interact and mash. I'm not sure what's going to happen but that's like the better way to approach thrillers in my opinion and it says here that it's perfect for fans of Sadie and the cheerleaders both the books that I adored and I loved it like awakened my interest for young adult thrillers so I'm crossing my fingers for this book um it's very underrated it has like a I think it has less than a hundred ratings so it would be interesting to see what this would be about the th this would be about the third book um the spin wheeler gave us is forgotten love by jm davis i don't know much about the book again i think it's an indie romance or i'm not sure but um it's the first book of a series it's about a second chance romance trope and i just um the synopsis for this book is like the lines of a character so it was written in the first part person point of view i'm not sure what to make of that um but i also peeked on some reviews and these are what i got it's heartbreaking and hot it's emotional and angsty and i'm here for those i love angst in romance so i'm i really hope that this delivers on the angst level so yeah that would be exciting The fourth um, arc I'll be reading for like the random picks is Where It All Lands by Jenny Wexler. And you know what, guys? It's another Wednesday books pick. That's weird, but 
Hey. So, yeah, Where It All Lands is a YA contemporary romance, again, by Wednesday Books. Um, according to the blurb, it's about three musical prodigies with daddy issues. The two boys are interested with the same girl. And to, like, because they're really cro close friends, they don't, they don't want, like, some conflict between them. They decided that they would just flip a coin every time that there is a conflict. So, the coin will decide who gets to hang out with the girl. And I think that's an interesting approach to a love triangle. Um, I know many people hate love triangles, but uh, I like a sadist part of me <laughs> likes it. I like all the angst and the drama and the pining. And I know somebody gets hurt at the end, but I don't know. I'm just here for that. So, yeah. I think that's mean for me. And sometimes it really hurts me when the person I wanted them to end up with is not who they choose, but I don't know. I love that, like, in a sick, twisted way, I do love love triangles, so, yeah. That would be exciting. <laughs> the last random art pick for this month is Eight Lives by Susan Hurley, and this one is a an adult mystery thriller and again I like to approach my thrillers in like blind in a blind way so I only picked the one sentence of the synopsis and it says here a brilliant young doctor is dead and someone has to take the blame and the eight lives that we're talking about on the title is about the eight eight lives around this person and that would try to unfold what happened, why he died, and yeah, basically that. So those are the random arcs I'll be reading. And lastly, to like wrap up my plans for April, you know, I took part in the film Myth Readathon as created by Gerald the Book Firm. And I have a few... Like, for the seven prompts that he has, I assigned a few arcs as well. Since I know that the readathon would also, like, eat up some of the space of my April. So, where I originally planned doing this, like, a month ago already. So, yeah. Just to, like, hit two birds with... with, 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 with. So, so, just, like, to hit two birds with one stone, I decided to, like, grab arcs for those prompts set by Gerald. So the first book is He's a Brute. It's for the Man and a Girl prompt because it's written in two POVs. It's a contemporary romance book and it also has a sequel which is She is a Spitfire who I which I can use for the Santamo prompt because it has fire in the title. And then the second book is The Islanders by F.J. Campbell. It's a YA fiction and it says there's one girl and three boys in a boarding school are interested in her. So it says that it's a retelling of The Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I don't know anything about that. So I don't know anything about what to do with the book as well. So um, yeah. And then the third arc. Uh, for the film of Three the Fun is I Must Belong Somewhere by Don Lanuza. It's a poetry book. Um, and that's all I know about it. So, yeah. All in all, I think I have 9... 15. I have 15 books set for April. That's very ambitious because usually that's what I read plus audiobooks in a month. And... Just a disclaimer, I would still be listening to audiobooks because I don't want to waste my script um, subscription. But I'll just pick out books randomly there. So, um, you know, just to make use again of that money. I don't want to unsubscribe and subscribe again. And I really like doing, like, listening to audiobooks when I do chores around the house. But for, like, physical reading... Um, these books will be taking a break. We'll be focusing on my Kindle. Like, she'll be my best friend for the rest of April because all of my arcs are here. And yeah, I'm really hoping that I'll find a time to like read all of these 15 books and leave reviews and shout about them because 
that's like our own little way to support the authors that we love so yeah those are the books that i plan to read on april please let me know what it, what are your plans do you will you be joining any read thoughts will, do you have a book club pick or anything like that please do let me know in the comments and let me know as well if you have read some of these books I've been talking about. If you're also anticipating them, I don't know. Whatever, just shout about them in the comments below and we'll discuss. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye!